remember the movie Inception? Yeah, I'm telling about Leonardo DiCaprio starring Christopher Nolan directed 2010 sci-fi blockbuster. The main concept of the movie is to implant an idea into subject's subconscious mind. The protagonists of the movie planned a three-layer dream to implant that idea. Further, due to circumstances, they need to go more deeper, a four-layer dream. And in the climax, we understood that, actually DiCaprio had gone into five-layer deep. Today, I'm going to share the story of Dave, a seven-years-old boy, with whom, in real, inception had happened. Not in his dreams, but when he was awake. He used to go to his neighbor's house for playing. He is a jolly and energetic child with a very sensitive mind. He loves to play with Olivia, a 14-year-old, next-door girl. He is fond of her, admires her, but also a bit terrified from her. Because, although Olivia, play with him, adore him, but, she often frightens him by telling ghost and demon stories. Now, on a new moon evening, both of them were at the rooftop. The atmosphere became dark, a chilly wild is breezing. Suddenly, in a dreadful tone, Olivia said, Feed the oak tree. And one-legged demon stay there. He is very dark. He has long hair. And, he likes to drink the blood of young boys. It felt like his legs had been stuck with the floor, so that, he can't move from the place. On his imagination, the one-legged demon is standing just behind him. He started sweating even in the cold evening. To make the situation more worse, Olivia started laughing hysterically. The place was silent and hushed. A cold electric flowed through the spine of Dave. Somehow he managed himself and ran away from the place. After reaching home, he jumped into his bed, and, entered inside the blanket. In that night, he didn't take any food. His parents, Grandy, Granny were surprised to see his strange, silent behavior. But, his Grandy was an wise man. Upon his words, his parents didn't knock him much. He was lying silently and after some times, he slept. After midnight, Dave suddenly woke up crying. As if, he was in a nightmare. His mother observed that he is running a fever. Soon Grandy and Granny arrived in the room and observed that he is muttering in a low whispering voice. Now, the family understood that something unusual happened with the child, but they were not sure what was that. In the morning, the family doctor is informed. After his arrival, he checked Dave, and upon Doc's question, he explained the incidents happened with him, what Olivia said to him and how he was afraid. Doctor prescribed some light medication and left. But, the whole family was very much angry and irritated on the attitude of Olivia. Dave's mom said, she will never send Dave to neighbor's house. Granny was almost ready to give complaint to Olivia's parents. Dad was also much reluctant. But, the wise man, the Grandy's point of view was entirely different. On everyone's surprise, Grandy took Dave to the garden. He makes him stand on a sandy dry soil. When Dave is standing under sunlight, Grandy drawn a circle on the sand around him with a stick. Then he started chanting at him. His eyes were closed. Sometimes his voice was rising and sometimes very low. Then, he started drawing some menial and flunky creature around Dave, around the circle. Grandy's chanting continues. He is touching the creature with the stick, and then touching Dave's body with the stick. Everyone was surprised, as, Grandy is neither a religious person, nor he believes in superstitions. 
Then what is he doing now? After 20 minutes, Grandy opened his eyes. With a solemn voice, he said to Dave, These creatures, These creatures are your are soldiers, soldiers now. now. They will they always, will always protect, you. protect you. Now, now, no ghost, no ghost or, or any demon, any demon could hurt you, hurt you anymore. anymore. Luke was already feeling well. Due to the medicine, his fever was cured. Also, he was mentally feeling happy, as, now, he had the supernatural powers with him always, to fight with the odds. From the next day, he continues to play with Olivia. Noon from his family, given complained to Olivia's house. When, Olivia used to try to frighten him again, Dave never get afraid. He calmly smiles, and, says that one-legged demon can't drink his blood, as, he have his own invisible soldiers with him always, whom will safeguard him. Olivia was astonished with the sudden appearance of these soldiers on Dave's mind, but, certainly she was never been successful in scaring or agitating Dave with her stories again. After 15 years, Dave is 22 years old young man, studying in college. He is quite popular among his friend circle due to his sense of humor. He is also a good soccer player. Alicia got married and went away. Grandy expired five years back. But, still Dave can remember that incident of his childhood very clearly. Indubitably, Dave understand that there is no existence of one-legged demon. Not either, the story made by his Grandy was true. But he is astonished by the cleverness of the sagacious old man. Grandy know, that, if he, can find Dave, with the true facts of non-existent ghosts, his childish mind couldn't trust on it. When Olivia again scare him, the same thing will repeat. So, Grandy fed another positive supernatural story on his mind, to nullify the negative sensation created by Olivia. This story teaches us about two things, first, there are always smarter ways to deal with wrong situations. Dave's mom and granny wanted to complain against Olivia, or, wanted to drag him back from Olivia. But, Grandy's approach was entirely different. Second, it's always better to make yourself strong from inside, so that, you can fight, with the adverse situations. In your life, you can never get out of problems, so, running away from problems, or, complaining is not the solution, make yourself so powerful, so that, the problem seems to smaller compared to your strengths.